Hey guys, Catherine here, filling another honeybee bezel with resin, but I think this time I want to do a more colorful resin into it rather than using beads to color it. Here, let me bring you a bit closer. What do we think of that? That's better. A little, anyway. All right, so what I'm going to do is mix colored resin into this bezel. And um, I think I'm going to start off with just using the resin that I already had mixed up and um, just slowly going from light colors to dark colors and mixing it into that resin itself. So I'm going to start off with a bit of yellow and just mix that in and see how dark that gets me. Well, that's a nice bright yellow. I think I am going to need some more of it. Here we are. There we go. That's turning a better color. There we go. That's a nice sunny yellow. And what I think I'm going to do is actually switch over to using the toothpick for dropping the resin in to see if that can't give me more control. Oh, and it does. Good. But I am an impatient sort of person, so this, I think, is probably not going to last as a way of getting the resin into the bezel. We shall see. Well, that just went all over the place. Yeah. That's fine. That's what I get for trying to pour it instead of trying to drop it in. I should learn my lesson. I should just drop it in and be patient. Yeah, I know how likely that is to happen too, but one of these days, you guys, one of these days I'm going to learn patience. I say that like it's a threat. that after I've made a mess, like it's something that I know how to do. Okay, I may as well fill that body in too. There we go, this part, here we are. Okay. And 
then grab a little bit of red, just a tiny little bit, and mix that into here, just a touch. Mix it in. See if it makes it orange enough, or do I want it more orange? Mm. I like that level of orange, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe just a hair, maybe just a smidge. Not too much. Here we go. There we go. That's the color I was looking for. A nice a yolk orange. Okay. Then and get a nice sort of gradient from the top and the bottom and then have yellow in the middle maybe. That's sort of nice. But I think it needs to be more contrast. All right, that might be too much. We shall see. No, I don't think that will be too much. Not, when, not once I get it in there. There we go, and then it just pushes that previous orange a little bit more towards the center, and it pushes the yellow a bit more towards the center. And we'll do that in the body as well. Let's see if we can't keep it from flooding over to the head. And then do that. It's almost a grapefruit color right now. That's kind of nice. There we go. We can't keep it from spilling over the side, but getting into that bottom wing. And then this one I think will all just be sunset colors because I am going from one color to the next. And if I introduced another color and tried to do like blue for the wings or something like that, I would just end up with green. And I don't think I want green. Or even, no, it's, it's, it's grapefruity enough now that if I introduced a blue, I would end up with brown. And I know I do not want brown. So I think I will go take it further into the red for the large part of the wings. Yeah. 
That's turning out really lovely. Actually, going from one color to another, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. And then the other wing. Oh, well, that just went all over the place. Yep, that's just going to flood everywhere. That's okay. I will just scrape it off to the side. That's why we have that's why we have the the work surface is covered in wax paper. That's why it's covered in wax paper so that I can just Scrape it off to the side when it wrecks it. Well, when I wreck it, not when it wrecks itself. It has not done anything wrong. That is all me. There we go. And then just a little bit more in the body like that. And then I think more red. And I think that is if I mix in a little bit more red and I can get it a little bit further into like the cherry spectrum, I think. Blow on it a little bit to try and get some of the bubbles out. There we go. And then drop that right at the tips of the wings. And let it push toward the center. And then smooth it out. To the edge and then do the same thing on the other side right at the tip of the wing and let it push toward the center and then smooth it back out to the edge and that I think will turn out something interesting you might want to swirl this inside the wing around just a little bit not enough to mix the colors but enough to give it a little swirl yeah yeah no I like that I think it's going to turn out nicely but I'll have to just set it aside and wait and see all right well that's it for now suppose um i will let you guys uh well i'll make the thumbnail the finished picture see you later oh and tell me what you're doing today i'm running out of ideas for things to do
Well, no, that's not true. I always have new ideas of things to do, but I'm also always looking for new things to do. So let me know what you're doing and I might do it. Later.